Welcome guys today to some NCAA Football 14 uh, video game news. Um, first off, th this is uh, about the new teams that are going to be added. Um, I originally planned for this to be a gaming video, but uh, my dazzle doesn't work on my new TV and I've not had a lot of time this week with school and everything like that. Um, I've been busy since the new year to be honest. Um, or whatever. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna do this video, NCAA Football 14, going into depth with the teams. So let's first start with Old Dominion University. Um, Old Dominion Monarchs football started in 2009. Um, they played in FCS. Um, they made the playoffs twice. Um, uh, in the last two years, um, they uh, they were previously a member of uh, CAA. And next year, in 2015, they're going to be a member of the um, CUSA. Um, to, uh, I believe in this game, they're going to be an independent. Um, but they're going to be still FCS independent next year. Then they're going to go FBS independent. Then they're going to be full member of a uh, um, uh, what is it? the CUSA along with Charlotte, which will be in NCAA 15, the game, which is, will be released in 2014. Uh, but let's not think about that now. Um, their quarterback, Taylor Heineke, uh, Heineke I, I don't know if I pronounce his last name right. Um, I, I, I know his name, but um, he passed for over 5,000 yards. And he's only a sophomore. He's going to be junior next year, and he um, he broke Steve McNair's passing record. So that's just some basic facts about the Old Dominion Yards. So the next team that's going to be in is um, the South Alabama Jaguars. They started football in 2009. They've only played junior varsity teams then. Then they upgraded it to full years football. Um, they played FCS opponents, and they've been FCS independent. They're going to move up to the Sun Belt from FCS independent. Um, what else is there to say about them? Um, other than they were going to be in this year's game, but their entry didn't get put in in time, and other things. So they're going to do like really in depth. They're not, there's nothing going to be generic about them. They're going to be full on in depth. Um, and the next team is Georgia State. Uh, the Georgia State Panthers. Um, they started their football program uh, for the first time in 2010. And um, they um, they were in the CAAA um, along with Old Dominion. So they're leaving them, the uh, CAA, um, along with Old Dominion. Um, Georgia State's also going to join the Sun Belt because they were one of the original members. Um, South Alabama is a member of the Sun Belt, um, but they started their foot. Yeah, that's another South Alabama thing. But Georgia State, um, well, anyway, uh, Georgia State uh, football, um, I can't say a whole lot. Um, I didn't find about out about this re until recently. I knew Old Dominion was going to be in the game because they had it on their poll voting results on Facebook. Um, but Georgia State, uh, it's they're the third one moving up. It's similar to um, how UTSA, uh, Texas State, and UMass moved up uh, in this year's game to their respective conferences. Um, so yeah, Georgia State is um, going to be in the game. So um, anyway, guys. Um, this has been, I'll call Lee signing off for now, and I'll see you guys later.